Welcome to the time tracking battle of the year. It's not that serious, it's just software. But in all seriousness, there are two main time tracking apps that are on the market that I want to break down for you guys because I just want to know which one's better. And I want you guys to know which one's better. So diving right into it, we have Toggle and we have Clockify. So I used Toggle for a while, a couple of years ago. And if we go into the pricing section, we can see that for free, you have a lot of different things. So from my experience, I had everything I needed for free. Uh, I didn't even have a lot of the new integrations that are out for this application back when I used it a few years ago. You can do so many different things. There's unlimited time tracking projects, reports, mobile reports. Uh, you have even Pomodoro timers and personal desktop activity tracking. You can track time with 100 plus popular tools with integrations as well. And the starter version is for small teams. So all these software really are more for a personal use on the free version. And you even get up to five users on the free version. So you can have a team free version of time tracking. So you can just figure out how much time everyone's spending on things. And then if you wanna pay a little bit more with $9 a month, you get some different things. But it's one of those situations where they're actually probably trying to compete with like QuickBooks when they get towards these higher levels of pricing. And then for Clockify, the standard version of this software after the free version, because the free version gives you unlimited tracking, users, projects, very basically the same thing as Toggle. It's the same comparable thing, they're competitors. So basic gives you uh, add time for others, hide time in pages, required fields. So this kind of gives you a different situation where you have a bunch of different small levels that kind of increase over time. And just take a look at what matters for you if you're a small team, and maybe you'll get more out of the $7.99 per person than you will out of the $9 a month per person. So, cause this is the comparable like starter to the pro pricing, even though this is considered premium and that's 18 bucks a month and the pro version here is eight bucks a month. So pricing might be a little bit skewed towards Clockify and that's something to definitely note for everyone who uses it. Jumping right into it, we can see that there are a few different views that you can have in the toggle workflow. You can have a weekly view, a daily view, and a list view. So I personally like all of these views. I think they're great. But first, the list view is what we gotta go into. So both of them have pretty much the exact same functionality when it comes to this basic time tracking situation. You can start a timer here on the top right, and right here you can start a timer on the top right. You can change what project it's in. You can change what project it's in. You can add different tags. You can make it billable or not. You can make it billable or not. All of these are really similar. I mean, they don't want to have anything left to their competitor on the free side, so they do their best. So here you have the option to manually log the time. We switch between these two on Clockify, and then you have the same ability on the toggle application as well. So basically, let's put an example task, get it started here, assign it to side hustle, and then when I stop it, it'll add the new task and have the time for it. And then if I wanted to edit it at all, I could edit the time range here. Let's say I was really gonna do it till 7 a.m. That would show 21 minutes. And then just really quick, the same thing here. Press enter, it started, add some projects to it. Tags, recording, stop it. Oh, it's not billable. I can change that there. You can duplicate them here. And then after you duplicate it, you can open both of them up by clicking the two, then changing the name, and then it'll get out of there. And then you could do similar duplication here, and then open it up like this, change and it would change it into different things. So this is very simple stuff that you can do. And you can select many of them by this in toggle and do a bulk edit or delete. You can do a similar situation in Clockify. So it's like, it's literally the same app from a feature standpoint. Uh, Cause if we look at here, like it's not as good looking as toggle. It's got a little bit more rounded view and obviously it all matters on preference. And if you really want to pay less for something that's maybe got a better price, you know, go with that. I'm, I'm not going to blame anybody for it. So if we go to the reports, we get a summary here. It's very similar once again. I mean, you have literally the same sort of stuff going on on both of these ends here. You can break it down by team, client, project, task, tag, status. So then if we go to the integrations piece, we can see that there is a way to connect it to Google Calendar. So if I get started here, you'll see that I already selected my admin at Rise Productive Google Calendar here. 
and then I could add other stuff that I hadn't shown. And then you could also enable Apple sign in for this as well as an Outlook calendar. So if we go back to the timer section and go with the daily view, we'll see that my entire day is gonna populate in here. And then if we go here to this application, we go back to the time tracker or calendar section. In the calendar section, we can click on this and we can connect the Google Calendar here. So what's really cool that we have this today view as well as this this week view or we can go to last week you can do anything from a time perspective you can just do one day yesterday select the different days that you want it to showcase like i want it to show tomorrow and that's it and it would just show that specific day from a view standpoint you can do the exact same thing here i didn't articulate that earlier but you can show yesterday tomorrow you can select it to be one specific day and then when you're inputting stuff you can do the same functionality of dragging and doing it or just straight up cloning the entry to the time on both of these softwares. It's literally got the same layout. But then from a more in-depth integration standpoint, you have things like Jira Sync, Salesforce Sync, Toggle Plan. It is a application that's sort of a task management system that Toggle has. So you can integrate it with its like own Toggle application for task tracking. You can implement it with Asana. There's plugins for Photoshop and Adobe XD, and then there is a myriad of extensions here. So from a Clockify Chrome extension perspective and a toggle perspective, we pretty much have a extension that'll go on the top right here for both of these. It's really eerie how similar these are. And you'd basically click on the top right and this would pop up on both of these. So if we go to the Clockify mobile page, we'll see that you have the ability to manually add time in the bottom right. You can go to the time tracking section here and switch the time entry mode to timer. So I could press go and stop really easily. Edit all the descriptions in the same way that you would anywhere else. You can go to the calendar view really easily too and see it from this perspective. So in the calendar view, you'd be able to change the time that would happen for how long a task were to last, a project and everything like that can easily be added here. You can add stuff from going to the top right there. But what I'm noticing immediately is that the integration piece is not showing from the calendar app perspective. But if I go into toggle, it's gonna have a very similar layout. Now it does have this nice dark mode, which I appreciate. And you have the ability to go between a tom Pomodoro timer, which is cool. You can have it notify you when it's done. And then it gives you breaks and whatnot. There's uh, settings to, one, you can skip the break and there are probably settings for this that are pretty Nice as well. Uh, in the settings in general, you have the ability to go in and change the Pomodoro settings. So that's a plus for toggle on the time tracking perspective, as well as in this view, we're able to see a really nice report going around as on this, you can see reports. It's a little bit different, but I actually really like the way that this looks personally on the toggle view. And then if we go back to the list, you can do the same thing about like, putting something in there and whatnot by just starting a task here and stopping it. Add time entries retroactively and manually is an option. If you go to the calendar settings, this is set to have everything show. So it should be loading shortly. So it's really weird for both of them is that it's not showing up from a calendar perspective. A nice little setting though that you have here is that you can allow for the local calendars to show up. So if I put this guy here on the calendar settings, it's supposedly supposed to show up, but we're having issues with everything loading. But theoretically, I know on the right here, basically what I could do is select it and sort of like copy it over. So I will say, apparently there is some bugginess to this because it's not showing what I want it to. But the Pomodoro timer is a nice touch for this mobile app and I gotta give that credit. And I gotta give overall the verdict to Toggle because it's a little bit more aesthetic and on the free plan, it's like the same thing and you gotta enjoy what you're using. So if it's a little bit easier to use cause it's enjoyable, go with Toggle. It's got a Pomodoro app. I'm a digital minimalist. I think you should only have one app instead of multiple. So I may get rid of my other Pomodoro timer if I use this. But if you wanna use Clockify, more power to you. There's nothing wrong with the application. It's very similar. If you're a business and wanna get a little bit of a cheaper plan, maybe go with Clockify as the pro version is cheaper than the standard version of Toggle. If you want to improve your productivity even more and learn about more cool apps, click this video right here. You're going to enjoy it.